Feeder Raider for PSP is probably the most practical music making game I've played so far. It's developed by Rockstar Games along with rapper Timbaland. In fact, Timbaland tells you how to you use, not play, One, two, this game. Two. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Hey, 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 hey. Timberland's in the building. Welcome. Be the Raider, huh, huh? Be the Raider. Be the Raider. <laughs> Check it. Welcome. There are three parts to Be the Raider. Live play. Studio session. Welcome. Song crafter. Welcome. Live play gets you up and playing quickly. Using ready-made loops played. Kind of by me. Kind of by you. From here, you can press R to change style. Record and play back your song. Check it out. In the studio session, you can choose to edit, remove, or play each loop. A loop is a short clip of music that is usually played over and over like a melody, a drum pattern, or a bass line. Something like that. Welcome. You can also make your own loops using the studio or song crafter. Welcome. Song crafter allows you to work with more control by moving loops into sequence. You got it? Yeah, you like that, don't you? The studio button display shows you exactly what each button does. Welcome. Press the R button to enter Feeder Raider menu at any Welcome. time. Have fun, ha. Have fun, baby. Have fun, ha. So welcome to my world. Now then, let's just start with live play. It's pretty cool. Now let's go to the studio and make some uh, new music. Before you begin your studio session, Timbaland can, can help you out. Studio session gives you a really simple way to create songs in a totally live environment. In studio session, you're presented with the raw tabs that represent the eight tracks of the song. Each tab can contain up to four loops which are associated with each action button. Select the tabs using the left and right buttons. Press the appropriate action button to cue up a loop to start playing, and press it again to cue it to stop. To switch from one loop to another in the same tab, just cue up the new loop with the appropriate action button. The tab on the far right, marked M, lets you cue up loops on all tracks to start by pressing any action button. Pressing the start button will stop all loops playing. You can record your performance too. Simply open the menu by pressing the R button and select record your performance. This will record your song ready to be played back or edited in the song crafter. Just press the select button to flip back to the song crafter. In the drum crafter, you can have up to eight drum tracks with a different sound on each track. You can see one bar of your loop at a time. 
Each bar is split up into four beats, and each beat is further subdivided into four steps, one sixteenth of a bar long. You make the sounds play by placing triggers on the tracks using the X button. <laughs> Let's trigger the kick drum on each beat and see what that sounds like. And now we'll add a snare on every other beat. You can place down triggers even while your loop is playing. Press the start button to start and stop playback. Experiment with placements of triggers to create drum patterns. The drum crafter has a second mode that is based around live performance. This mode is called drum pad mode. Switch between modes using the select button. When you're in drum pad mode, the labels on the left hand side of the grill will change to have action and directional button icons next to them. The action and directional button icons show you which action and directional button to press in order to play that sound, like on a drum pad. Choose drum pad mode rehearse if you just want to rehearse and check out the sounds you can make. Choose drum pad mode record to record your beats into your loop. When you've placed triggers down, you can adjust their individual volumes by holding down the X button and pressing the up or down button. You can even play with the swing setting to shuffle some of the beats around to give a different feel to the rhythm. Try it out. Make tunes in a melody crafter by laying down triggers on notes using the X button. Beta Raider has a five octave virtual keyboard for you to play with. Move up and down it using the directional buttons. You can adjust the sustain for a trigger. This governs how long the trigger sounds for. Keep the X button held down when you're laying down the trigger. Then press the left and right buttons to adjust the length. While you have the X button held down, you can also make the trigger slide up and down to other notes by pressing the up and down buttons. You can even place down triggers while your loop is playing. Press the start button to start and stop playback. Hold down the X button to lay down triggers with longer sustains. When you've placed triggers down, you can adjust the individual volumes by holding down the X button and pressing the up or down buttons. When you're making a loop using sounds, the Melody Crafter has a second mode that is based around live performance. This mode is called Chord Pad Mode. Switch between modes using the Select button. When you're in Chord Pad Mode, the button display changes to show four different chords on the Action buttons and the Delete function on the L button. Now when you press an Action button, you'll make a chord sound instead of a single note. Choose Chord Pad Mode Rehearse if you just want to rehearse and check out the chords. Choose Chord Pad Mode Record to record your chords into your loop. When you spend some time using Chord Pad Mode, check out the Chord Picker screen. This screen allows you to choose which four chords you get to play with. Find the Chord Picker screen in the menu and the Quick column under the Chord Pad Mode option. Unlike sounds, synth patches are monophonic. This means you cannot use Chord Pad Mode. You can edit the synth patch by pressing the triangle button or by selecting Edit Synth Patch from the Synth Tools column of the menu. This takes you to the synth editor screen. Here you'll find lots of controls that govern the sound the synth makes. Take a look at the synth editor tutorial video to learn more.
So yeah, go through these tabs, uh, take the tutorials, create new beats, new music. Uh, man, there's just a lot of range of sounds and options here. You, you could be a music maker with this. Wow, so far I put this game above Mario Paint and the Game Boy Camera DJ for just creating music. I mean, wow, they, they've really done a great job with this. So, if you want to get into making music with a video game, give a PSP and Beater Raider a go. Mm -hmm. 